Last night was probably the scariest night I've ever experienced in my entire life. We'd had quite a chilled evening. We were pretty organized. We'd done our feeding. We'd done our relaxation. We'd eaten. And we managed to get him settled and I just turned off the lights and I started hearing grizzling noises. So I thought perhaps he's not ready to settle. Maybe he needs a little comfort. Maybe he needs more winding. And I turned on the light. I went to pick him up. And at that point he projectile vomited out of his mouth and nose straight up and back down on himself. He'd done this before, um, but this time it was like he inhaled some of that vomit. We obviously instantly picked him up and turned him over and tried to help get all the sick out of his airways. But then what happened for the next 10 minutes was, like I said, the scariest moment of my life. Um, he instantly just broke out screaming like crying in a way I've never heard him cry before, but then in between the cries doing this kind of <gasps> kind of gulping sound. And you could hear everything gurgling in his in his nasal cavity, in his airways. Um, and he he was just inconsolable. And he does this thing where he pulls back, I think all babies do it when they've got wind or when they're uncomfortable, they pull back. But he was like so taut. He was so pulled back in that position and just <gasps> trying to get his breath. Um, and then in between those screams and pulling back, he would then go really limp and just stop. Like stop breathing, stop fighting, just stop. His eyes would close. And it was for a much longer period than Nick or I were comfortable with. And we tried so many things. We were like putting him on our shoulder, we were turning him over. We tried, um, I took him into the bathroom and I was just trying to like wash him down, just thinking maybe the water would soothe him and maybe he was just being a bit, um, uh, a bit too upset, a bit emotional and that he would just, if he calmed down, he would catch his breath. But then he started almost like convulsing, like, <laughs> like doing this weird thing with his shoulders we'd never seen him do before and then just stopping and it just, it was going on for such... It was going on for such a long period of time that um, I started to think, you know, really something bad, something bad was about to happen. Um, especially when he wouldn't breathe and he would just go, cause he, as time went on, he seemed to get more and more tired and we had less, less of the fighting, less of the screaming and more of the just kind of going limp and just stopping breathing. Um, and so I didn't know what to do and started panicking and, um, and so for the first time in my life, I phoned 999. I've never, I never want to bother them. Um, but obviously this was quite a, um, quite, um, what's the word? An intense situation that we didn't know how to deal with and he wasn't breathing properly. So I called 999 and um, then we had to wait like, what felt like forever. Oh, bless you, bless you. Um, but the, um, the, we had a, a quick response paramedic and then um, an ambulance arrived within about probably about eight minutes maybe of us making the call um, and it just felt like those eight minutes were the longest eight minutes of our lives because we could, just couldn't get him to breathe properly but then by the time they arrived he was a lot more calm he was a better colour he was breathing not rhythmically or like nice healthy deep breaths it was very shallow but he was breathing and the paramedics seemed pretty happy that he was just a normal baby and he just done what normal babies do which is try and scare their parents <laughs> um but they wanted to make sure that he was properly signed off by a pediatrician so they took us in the ambulance jacob and i went in the ambulance back to the hospital where he was born only two weeks earlier and um, and then we were in the hospital till about four in the morning, getting all of his um, all of his checks done. He had the heel prick test again. Um, he had a little monitor on his foot to monitor his heart rate and his his air oxygen levels in his blood. He was tested for jaundice. And they just gave him a good listen to. They listened to his chest and, and his stomach and everything. <laughs> He's absolutely fine. 
he's absolutely fine. He's possibly just got a little bit of reflux that we have to keep an eye on. You're bright as a button now, aren't you? Aren't you? I would definitely never underestimate the value of knowing basic first aid for your baby. In other news, this is the first day that Jacob and I have been at home together, alone, on our own all day because um, Nick has finished his paternity leave and has gone back to work. <laughs> Two weeks has gone by so fast. Um, but we've coped okay. We've coped okay. We haven't called any ambulances, have we, today? No. And uh, we've managed to eat and managed to do a little bit of cleaning. We are on our first outing. I'm heading to the squash club, not to play of course, but to introduce Jacob to everyone at the squash. Jacob's so excited. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost. In well, everyone at the squash club absolutely adored Jacob, obviously, because he's a cute little baby. And, uh, and now he's absolutely tucking it out. Bless his little heart. Pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. And I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby.